today is an errands day. I am so over the moon excited about these glasses. This morning, I did go and get my first peel. Okay, that's probably the least I've ever spent at Target. So I'm like, I'll watch you for it and I'll be like, binging the office for like an hour just to like get my mental health back to a good spot. <laughs> Good morning guys. Today is an errands day. I have a couple places to go, a couple things to get done. I need to go to Walgreens and get my prescription, but I'm going to run in and grab um, some more deodorant and toothpaste. I'm going to go drop off Lily's Galentine's Day package in the mail, and then I'm going to buzz over to Whole Foods and pick up a few groceries, and I don't know. I feel like there's something else. I thought I'd take y'all along. As you guys can see, I am home. I just put the groceries away and I opened up um, my package from Crate and Barrel. I feel bad how much <laughs> cardboard for just this, but I am so over the moon excited about these glasses. I see these everywhere and I just think they're so, so beautiful. They are really good quality. They're nice and thick. They feel very sturdy. I got the pack of four. I had found similar ones on Amazon, but they didn't have as good reviews. Like they were apparently really small. 
Um, and they were just as expensive, might maybe even more expensive. So I was like, screw it. I'll just buy the ones from Crane Barrel, but they're beautiful. I, I love them. Um, I will link them. And because I ordered those, I also just threw in this candle because I loved the design of it. It's a matte white with this really beautiful kind of geometric design and it smells so, so good. I think it's gardenia. Yeah, gardenia. Um, the second I opened it, I could smell it. Like it smells like spring flowers. It's amazing and it's just really pretty. It is 5.23 p.m. I've been hanging out with my mom today. Um, we went in and watched The Bachelor because we're behind, but we're caught up. We're caught up. Oh my God, the drama is thick this season. Anyway, if you can't tell by that red car, I'm at Target. Um, I need more stool softener. <laughs> Gastric bypass has been hard, literally and metaphorically. <laughs> TMI, is this TMI? Anyway, I thought I would take you guys along for a quick Target run. And I might just like let Target tell me if I need anything else, you know, like just kind of feel it out. <laughs> Let's go, baby. I should probably just take this cart right here. So it's Saturday night. I hope it's not busy in here. I need a quiet Target moment for myself. Sometimes that's just what we all need. Also, this hat is from Target and I don't know why I get like anxiety wearing things. <laughs> from the place I'm shopping. I'm like, I didn't steal this hat. Does anyone else do that? Got some fresh things over in the dollar section here. Is this a candle or just a jar? Ooh, those are nice jars. This would be cute for a little coffee bar. Ooh. Infusible glasses. Love those. Oh my god, I saw these on TikTok. <laughs> they're so cute. I don't need them, but they're so cute. So my journal is almost full, so I was going to grab a new one. And I love this. Like, how beautiful is that? Maybe I'll get this one. Okay, I love the way that one looks, but it doesn't have the spiral rings, and I need that when I'm writing. It's much more comfortable, but... I love this notebook because it has sections, so I can do like work in one or journaling, a little bit of everything. We've got a ton of new spring items. So cute for Easter. I love this. I don't need it. <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> I love these little bowls because we only have like a really big bowl, like a soup bowl or a plate bowl. This is like a nice little middle. They're only five bucks. Um, our plates that we have now are from Target and everyone has been talking about these as like a dupe for the Crate and Barrel. So if you need plates, Target right now has a lot of good ones. Okay, that's probably the least I've ever spent at Target, but it's kind of a good thing. Like a lot of things would be great for spring, but like it just feels a little too soon. Like I was gonna get a lot of these, like they had some really pretty spring decor. I'm just like, eh, too soon. I'd rather enjoy it later. It's busy. Why is it so busy on a Saturday night? Uh, my mom and I used to always go to Target on Sunday night when I was growing up. It was like our tradition and it was always so quiet. But, uh, you know, I think a lot of people just enjoy going to Target for, uh, you know, a poke around sesh. So I just got a bag. I'm very excited about that Tivana tea because we, oh, Yara and I love that tea from Starbucks. So now we can make it at home. Hello, you guys. I haven't picked up the camera in a couple days. So yeah, I am currently just working on the computer. I have a lot of work to do. This morning, I did go and get my first peel. So my grandma had actually got me a gift card for a facial. And then I went in for the facial and it somehow turned into a peel. <laughs> but I got a lactic peel, which is supposedly one of the most gentle of peels. So we'll see. She said I might not even peel at all. I still have to shower. I have like, you know, 
that oil and stuff in my hair. So yeah, I'm curious. <laughs> We'll see over the next few days if anything happens should some people peel some people don't but um, <clears throat> You know, they always ask you they're like, what are your skin concerns? And I'm like adult acne So she was like, you know, I'm gonna do some extractions, which I hate when they do extractions. It hurts so bad. I also just like don't get the point of extractions I just find it very funny that there's like a healthy way to pop your pimples, you know And I know there's a science behind it And I know people are rushing to the comments to tell me why extractions quote-unquote matter, you know, I just I hate it <laughs> You know, I told her about the light therapy I've been doing and she said that sounds great. She's like, keep doing the light therapy. I've heard really good things from that. Like it can take a month or more to see results and I've only been doing it, I think for a couple weeks now. So I'm gonna keep doing it. Like for a minute, I was like, it's helping. And I'm like, it's, my skin's the same. <laughs> like I still have a pimple pop up here and there. She's like, um, I think doing a lactic peel every six weeks with the light therapy could be a perfect combination. So. Uh, maybe in six weeks I'll do another one. It was kind of unexpected and I don't know if I'll do it again or not um, You guys let me know should I do it again? Because like I didn't want to ruin the light therapy Results like this all just kind of happened by accident, but I'm like I guess I could kind of find like what works for me and then just do a video on what I did if it works It might not even work. I don't know Anyway, um, I've been walking again. The weather has been super duper nice I've been back in my groove since I had COVID, you know, I kind of fell off with walking and stuff, but um, I've walked the last few days. I walked this morning uh, and it feels so good. Like it's been in the forties and I'll take it. I'll take it. And I just poured myself a big glass of lemon water. I won't be able to put on any makeup for today. Should I could tomorrow if I'm not peeling? I don't know if I will. I just wanted to check in because I have not checked in in like a bit. I'll check back in later. Okay, I just took the best shower. I dry brushed, exfoliated, lotioned. So my face is starting to burn. <laughs> but I wanted to do a little mirror moment because I bought this on Etsy and it just came today. I'm in love. So I got a 4X. It's super oversized. I love it. And I actually cut the bottom. Cause like whenever I order a 4X, they're just like so long and I like it kind of middle cropped, you know? Oh my God, it's so cute. It did come in pretty darn quick. Um, so I don't know if this vlog will be up before Valentine's Day. It probably won't. I mean, you could wear it after Valentine's Day. These cute little heart lollipops. This took me right back to elementary school. I'm talking kind of quiet cause you are on the phone. That's the thing when you both work from home, someone's always on the phone. <laughs> And you always gotta be quiet. And our house has very thin walls. Like we always hear what's going on. So yeah, so I got back into dry brushing today. Um, I need to be consistent with it because like it has amazing results. So I got mine from Eco Tools and I'm super inconsistent with it. Like when I am consistent with it, it feels so good. And I feel like my skin glows, but um, I was watching some tutorials and like learning more about it. And first of all, when I do it, I feel alive. <laughs> like the circulation that it gets flowing through your body, it just, it makes you feel like awakened and just like, and it does hurt a little. Like it's a little unpleasant when you first start, but as you're going, you're like, after you do the first stroke in one area, you're like, ah. And then like you can kind of see like the white blood cells, I don't know if they're white blood cells, but like you can kind of see the different color under your skin, which means like you're getting that blood flow. You can look up tutorials, but essentially you just go, like I do like a few sweeps over each spot, all towards the heart, like from my feet, my legs, belly, arms, chest, um, my butt. I can't really reach my back. I kind of want to buy one with like a long handle so I can do my back, but you do it towards your heart, a few sweeps in each spot and it just like, it exfoliates off all the dead skin. It helps with cellulite, like whatever, cellulite is a part of life. But um, I just like the way it makes me feel and I'd like to do it for blood circulation um, because it's really good for your lymphatic system. But it also makes your skin glow and gets off all the dead skin. So lots of benefits, you can Google it, but I wanted to show you guys my cute sweatshirt. <laughs> hey guys, per usual, got the number one comfort show on. Who else is just like so so ready for spring. I have on this really cute neon tank top. It was on sale at Old Navy, like super cheap, and it's so cute and summery. It's like 40, low 40s today, which I know is not a lot for many, but it feels like summer. <laughs> it doesn't feel like summer. It feels like spring. 
Um, my mom came over, we just took a walk and watched the new episode of The Bachelor. <sighs> Can't wait to see how that two-on-one goes. I thought I would just come on here and update you guys on the skin. So far, no peeling, just like a little dryness and tenderness, like it feels like it could peel. Like it's not peeling, but it feels rough, so. I don't know, it might not peel at all. I just washed and used my Vanny Cream um, face wash and moisturizer today because it's super, super, you know, sensitive skin friendly. And they told me I could use that. So the snow is starting to melt with this warm weather. You can see like some of the grass back there. I've got a couple more crate and barrel packages to open because I ended up ordering the tall glasses that I showed you guys as well to match. Um, Cause I like having matching items and I just, Love those glasses so much and they were such a good price. So let's go ahead and open these up. our new glass shelf I got nine of um, eight of each <laughs> these two missing is bothering me oh also I got this for my doctor in case I get the hypoglycemia low blood sugar moment again haven't had to test my blood sugar but here are the small ones you guys already saw I love drinking from these and then here are the large ones I ordered so beautiful oh my god like they're, I don't know why, they just do something for my soul and that's what it's all about. I was just editing this footage. I didn't realize how bad my face got beat up yesterday. I like didn't have half of these little dots. I'm telling you, the extractions, <laughs> like I'm busted. And I am a little itchy, like I feel like, I don't know, like I feel like we're gonna peel. It's like I want to peel. It almost just makes it feel like it worked. Even if you don't peel, she said it would work. But like, it's like, I went through the pain, I want to peel. Oh my God, I just feel so like off lately. Like I, I think cause it's February, it's like January was such a long month. And don't get me wrong, I have amazing moments like throughout the day where it's like positive and good and like my mood is good. But then I'll have like moments of just like meh, you know, like just cause it's that winter blues almost. And it's like that time of year you know where by february we're all just kind of over winter especially in new england and you know march can be just as shitty when it comes to the snow anyway um so i think i'm actually gonna do some journaling i think that would feel good for me right now i've been really enjoying that notebook i picked up at target um i love the different sections i have so far i have one for like my day-to-day -day schedules just because I like to write my day out each day um, or at least like a week just because working from home you kind of have to plan out your life or it can feel just a little bit like loosey-goosey like I'm floating around what do I do you know so then I have a section for lists you know things I need to get done I don't know I love lists whether it's a grocery list a get done list a house project list um, and then I have another section for journaling and then I have another section for work strategy um, and like video ideas and stuff so I, I've never had a, a notebook with like sections it's kind of kind of a good time so yeah I'm gonna do some journaling um, kind of just like release also I've been watching euphoria and that's been like very heavy and I'm like is this affecting my mood sometimes that happens so I'm like I'll watch euphoria and I'll be like binging the office for like an hour just to like get my mental health back to good spots. Does anyone else like that? Mm -hmm. 